Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today on how to assign books to students. My name is Christine Jones. I'm the Associate Director of U.S. Education here at Benetech, and joining me today is my colleague Scott Richards, uh, who is an assistive technology specialist with Boston Public Schools and also does some work for Benetech uh, in the area there in uh, the, the counties, several counties in Massachusetts. Scott, can you, um, can you say hello? Welcome to everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us today. I'm going to start today with just some basics about Bookshare and then turn it over to Scott for the bulk of the webinar to do some demonstrations. Bookshare, in case you're not familiar, is an ebook library that makes reading easier. People with what we call reading barriers, such as dyslexia, blindness, physical disabilities, etc., can read in ways that work better for them. They can listen to books read aloud. Uh, they can just listen to the audio if that's what they like, or they can choose to hear the audio and follow along with the highlighted text. Research uh, shows us that, that uh, this actually helps greatly with reading comprehension and engaging students in the text and, uh, and uh, encouraging them to read more uh, than they would otherwise, being able to follow along with the highlighted text, and they can also read in, in Braille. The collection has more than 750,000 titles and about 5,000 titles are added every month to Bookshare. Uh, this includes textbooks, books for both uh, classroom reading as well as uh, reading for fun. Uh, we hear lots of stories of students who start out using Bookshare for schoolwork and end up discovering a, a treasure trove of great books that, that they will enjoy reading and they start becoming avid readers just on their own initiative, which is certainly what we love to hear and see. There are a lot of books for uh, learning new skills in Bookshare, and there are many periodicals as well, uh, newspapers and magazines. And Bookshare is free for all qualified United States students of any age, uh, thanks to funding from the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs. There are a lot of free ways to read Bookshare books and many low-cost options and commonly available reading tools. So now I'm going to turn it over to Scott, have, let him grab the controls, and he's going to show you some things uh, in terms of how to assign books to students uh, using a new feature called Assign and Read, which allows you to assign just one book to a student, get them reading quickly and easily, and then assigning books to students through reading lists, of which there are a couple of different options. Uh, there are ways that you can create your own reading lists uh, for students, and you can also subscribe to lists that uh, the Bookshare has made available. So Scott, I think we'll have time to go through all of this and probably more as well. All right, so I'm Scott. I work in the Boston Public Schools as an assistive technology consultant, and my other job is working to do outreach with Bookshare. So I am happy to be here today to show you some of the latest and greatest from Bookshare. So um, to assign books to students, I could come up here and look for a book. Now you'll see for Blue Moon, you can see the assign here. That's a new feature this year. So if I click on assign, then this is the list of students that I have. They're all made up students in my organization. I guess I want to assign it to Jack Black here. And now the book has been assigned to him. So looking at it from the angle of the student, I am already logged in as Jack Black here. So I could just go to my Bookshare and then look for the assigned books and I would see Blue Moon there. And then if I clicked on Read Now, it will open up the Bookshare web reader. So there's the book. And that is how you use the assign book feature, the, the easiest way to assign a book. There are a couple ways that you can use reading lists. One of them is to um, browse and subscribe to other people's reading lists. Um, the easiest way to do it would be just to go after you're logged in with your username and account, click on browse here, and then you'll immediately get um, brought to this page here with all of these different book collections. So there are lots of popular collections from the New York Times, 
Um, then there's specific um, categories or collections for kids and award winners and general resources. Um, there are also different uh, kids and teens and teachers categories, the teacher category. I often find that um, the Common Core texts and Lexile collections are uh, most useful for teachers when they're thinking about um, what core texts they're teaching their, their students. So from there, if I wanted to um, subscribe to one of these lists, for the New York Times one, if I wanted to subscribe to this, I could just click on subscribe here. And then if I wanted to assign it to members from my organization, I just click on add members, um, give it to Jake the Snake and Jack Black, add selected members, and now you can see that they have been assigned that reading list. So if I go in to the student account here, my book share, I can see under reading lists that I've been assigned the New York Times bestsellers. Um, you can also create your own reading list. So I'll go to my book share and then select my reading list over here. And as you can see, I already have nine reading lists here. But if you wanted to create your own, you can select create button at the bottom of the page right here and then you could make your own here and then I can either share it with uh, with just as assigned members as assigned people or just for myself or I could share it with the entire organization which would be other members and sponsors in my organization and then if I wanted to, I could add members immediately into this. If you want to add the books to your reading list, you'd go up to the top again in the search box and type in your book. And then over here, you'll see on the action list um, where we did the assign before, right underneath that, add to reading list. And I'm going to add it to demo. That's the one that I just created and add and then if I go back to my book share and into my reading list if we look at demo here we'll see that Michael Jordan book is right there and then from here I could download the book or I could assign it to a student and that those that's the basic nuts and bolts of uh, assigning books to students. Um, I find that if you just need something right on the fly, um, then you can just assign a book if it's something like a textbook or a book that the students need right away. I would just assign it directly to them that way. But if, if you're looking at saving time in the future and making it a more efficient process, uh, especially if you're a single grade level teacher like third grade, fourth grade, etc., you might want to create your own reading list and that way Every time you have students come in to your class, if they have IEPs or reading accommodations, you can immediately just sub, um, assign them that, that, that reading list. And then they have instant access and you don't have to do that work again. Thank you so much for taking time. And Scott, thanks for taking your time out too to demonstrate a lot of these features and offer your experience. Thanks to everyone for attending. Here's to much happy reading this, this school year on the part of your students. Thanks again.